Welcome back to another episode of Last Window, The Secret of Cape West. Thanks for tuning in. Last time we won a thousand dollars. Yeah, I, even though it's like not even real, I was so excited for him just because, you know, I feel like again, he could really use it. And I feel like it's gonna tie into the story maybe with Tony or anybody else. I don't know. It, it was just very exciting, very cool. It felt like I won the lottery, even though I didn't. Um, and Claire, for some reason, has something to talk to us about, but we can't go in there when Sydney's watching. So I'm like not, entirely sure what they want us to do so i'm just gonna kind of feel around i keep doing this <laughs> i keep doing this when i want to talk to sydney because i think i would have to like observe the area and then see him standing there and then talk to him hey sydney come on damn it what's up what's wrong sydney ah <sighs> it's no good sydney <laughs> oh oh <laughs> didn't see you there mr hyde what are you doing that's got you so busy you don't notice your own customers? I'm very important. Number one patron here. Is it anything I can help you with? Is it more puzzles? Just a little problem. Nothing to worry about. You can tell me. Maybe I can help. I doubt that, Mr. Hyde. Uh, no offense, but this is one issue I'll have to take care of. I see. Now I really want to know what it is because there's nothing I can't solve. I just plain forgot is all. It was something I needed to take care of today, too. No matter how hard I try, I just can't seem to remember what it was. Is it like Claire's birthday or something like that? That is a problem. Ah, quite a bind I'm in. Hang on. Did you remember? I think it might be coming back to me. I'm starting to remember. Oh! Yes, what is it, what is it, what is it? I'm only guessing, but... Do you need to buy some ingredients? Do you need to make some meals? Well, this would get him out of the restaurant, so... <laughs> Do you need to buy some ingredients? Darn, it's gone again. Oh no, did I mess it up? If you just kept quiet a little longer, I might have remembered. I figured, I figured I needed to stay quiet there, actually. Okay, sorry, just trying to help. I'm pretty sure it had nothing to do with buying ingredients, though. I took care of that this morning. Fair enough. Oh, I hate to sound rude, Mr. Hyde, but I don't think I'll be able to remember with you around. Could you give me a bit of space for a while? Sure, no problem. Uh, huh. I wonder if I'll trigger it again by talking to him. Hey, could you give me a bit of space for a while? Sure, no problem. Oh man, did I mess that up? Uh, I wonder if I can get a do-over. Um, I'm just gonna like walk in another room. Oh, he got it, he got it. Ah! Oh! There he goes. I guess the light bulb came on. I've got it! I've remembered what it was! Okay, I think it, it just, that would have happened instantly if I had stayed quiet. I think it's just a little bit of a delay, you know? Just a little bit extra if you mess up. <laughs> what could he have forgotten? Ah, oh, man. Sometimes, you know, I have this gut instinct. Like, I, you know, he's, he's on the cusp of remembering I probably shouldn't say anything, but I ignored the instinct. I should listen to it more often. Sydney. So what's up? Claire's birthday. Uh, I'm sorry if I was a little rude to you before, Mr. Hyde. Forget about it. More importantly, did you remember what it was you'd forgotten? Yeah, I just remembered. So what was- I know, why do we have to go through 10,000 hoops and prompts just to- just to ask him what it is? Can't believe I nearly forgot that today was Tuesday! What happens on Tuesday? Taco Tuesdays? I don't think y'all serve tacos. You should, though. What was it that you'd forgotten? Ah, uh, it was nothing serious. Sorry if I panicked you just then. Today's Tuesday, right? I think so. All the days are blending together because I've lost my job and I reminisce about the days that I've lost my father and it's been hard and- Okay, anyways, the roster dictates that Tuesday's my day to take care of the toilets. Oh, okay, well, I mean, that, that'll get you out of here. Your turn? Yeah, and I nearly forgot all about it, too! If I hadn't remembered when I did, I'd be on the receiving end of a grilling from Claire. I'm glad to hear you avoided a grilling, then. But grilling sounds delicious. You could have steaks on the outside. Looks like I'd looks like I'd better get my skates on and see to those toilets. Skates on. I wonder what that means. Uh, obviously not roller skates, because it's saying a roller skating derby diner. But I I don't know. Maybe just, that just means like I better get going. Maybe that's a, a saying for that. If you need me, just shout in that general direction. 
All right, Sydney, you take your sweet time. You take all the time you need in there, honey, okay? Extra long, all right? Sydney disappears into the billiards room. Looks like this is the chance I've been waiting for. What if this hadn't happened? Claire would have had to create some kind of distraction or, or like send her dad out on an ingredient run, you know? That's what I thought. Gosh dang it. Whatevs. Hi, Claire. So what's up? I'm I'm getting a bit nervous. You and I normally don't need to talk about anything, so it must be something regarding your father, the lottery, perhaps. Like, where did my father get the money for that? Or I don't know. I don't know. I, I can only feel nervous about this. We're in the kitchen, though, which is great. Hi, Claire. Oh, Mr. Hyde! I'm here. Let's talk. Thanks for coming. So, what was on your mind? Well, it's... It's what? I, I um... Oh, right! Yo, what's up? What? Before I tell you what I wanted to say, there's something else I'd like to ask for your help with. Dad told me to open a jar of maple butter, but the lid's too tight. It's just like opening the jar of a pickle jar. I can do that. I can do that. I'm a tough guy. Would you mind doing it for me? No problem. Give it to me. I'm terrible at these, y'all. Um, What's been the most efficient is that they've made literally just like a thin piece of rubber often with their own brand on it, I suppose. And you literally just slap, it, it's, a, it's a circle. You slap that on top and then you just use that. And because, you know, it's got grip, you use that to pull it off. That helps me the most. Before I used to resort to, um, I don't know if any of y'all would do this. You'd grab a knife um, and then you just keep like, dunk, 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 dunk against the side of the, the lid until like, I don't know, it loosened enough and then you could pop it off. But that was less efficient. And I don't know, I, I didn't like that method as much. So I, after finding it, just literally a piece of little rubber circle that that one helps me the most i have horrible grip strength so <laughs> all right no problem give it to me thanks here you go oh is this gonna be a mini game <laughs> i receive a jar of maple butter it's gonna be like impossible to do to pull off or something also i haven't used maple butter very much i've had cookie butter and peanut butter but not maple butter i think well it was on so tightly i couldn't even get it to budge I could have tried heating it, but the butter gets a funny taste when it's warmed. Oh yeah, that's another method. That's another method. Um, do I have to use a tool for this or can I literally just use my hands? I bet this isn't going to come off. I bet we're going to fiddle for it. Damn, my hand keeps sliding off. That's why you need that little piece of rubber for the grip. Um, well, do I do it slowly or... So if my hand keeps sliding off, I'm assuming we're going to need to get something for this. Not getting any joy here. I just need to try harder. Are you sure about that? Are you sure I, I don't need to back out for this? I I feel like, you know, I could go and find something for this because I don't think this is going to work. My hand keeps sliding off. Do I need to do a double hold again? Is that what this is? Hold on, hold on. Let me try backing out and see what he says. Claire. Yes? Have you got anything we can use to get this thing open? Take your pick. You can use anything you like. Okay, that's what I figured. Oh my god, okay, wait. <laughs> I love that we're focusing on this. This is amazing. Okay, let's just start looking around, I guess. Uh, let me see when I got a searchability thing going on. Wow, this is actually a thing we're doing, all right. There's some kind of tin can on top of the work surface. There's no label on it. I wonder what it's a can of. Worms, guts. Ooh, is this something suspicious? These scraps of paper have some recipes written on them. The secret Krabby Patty formula. This looks like Sydney's handwriting. Okay, great. Um, a bowl and some ingredients. Wonder what I could whip up with all this. Uh, every size of frying pan you'd ever need is hanging up above the workstation. Convenient. I don't know. In the middle of the room, there's a metal workstation with its own sink. Like a lot of relics in this place, it's pretty beat up. Just like me, even though we're only like 30 something. Well, how old are we again? 30 something years old, but we look like an old relic that got beat up by life. Cause we did, we have, we've had a tough life. It's a couple of cardboard boxes. I doubt there's anything important in them. There are two large bags stood up against the wall. Can't tell what's in them, but it looks like it could be some of Claire's fancy coffee beans. The shelf holds frying pans and saucepans. Some are stainless steel and some are aluminum. A pan for every occasion. Uh, is there anything in here? <laughs> it's the door for a walk-in refrigerator. Makes sense that a cafe would need a refrigerator this big. To store dead bodies in? I'm on to you. I know what you're all about. I bet this shelf must have something. 
It's so chock full of things and so suspicious. Look at that. Look at how more defined these items are, you know? <laughs> a can of mystery sauce. It's a mystery because there's no label. I hope Sydney knows what it is. According to the label, at least, this bottle contains olive oil. Why did I, there, I, I, did you see? I clicked all the way up there and it selected something all the way down there. What are you doing, game? There's an oddly shaped bottle on the shelf that holds some kind of seasoning. If it ain't mayonnaise, I ain't interested. Oh, you're a big mayonnaise guy, huh? I definitely uh, would not see eye to eye with you there. It's another dull brown box, though this one's smaller than the others I've seen. There's a delivery note stuck over the flaps of the top, so I can't look inside. Clear glass jar perched on the bottom shelf. Oh, this is actually something. Oh my god. Rubber. Rubber. See? Rubber's all we know. Wow, this is the most indistinct item ever on this shelf. I would I was like about to skip reading over it because I was like, oh, there's probably nothing in there. Are you kidding me? That's so random. The jar is full of rubber bands. Maybe I could use one of them. See? Rubber. Rubber's all you need. I take a rubber band. Great. Uh, so I mean, do I just take it go back to her or Oopsie. Oh, okay, I'll try that again. Good, good, good. I activated it correctly. Uh, wait, but I, uh, how do I use it on it, though? Combine them? This thing's on tight. What am I gonna do? I want to combine them. Um, I guess, or use on this. Combine. Combine? Let's try combine. See if that works. Okay. Let me try with the rubber band. There we go, there we go. Okay. Hit. Nice! Easy peasy! I've never tried a rubber band, you know? that's That seems simple but effective. Uh, next time y'all can't get a, a lid off a jar, give it a try, I guess, if you've got some lying around. That's got it. Oh, she looks so excited. Aw, Claire, thanks. <laughs> wow, Mr. Hyde, you're stronger than you look. Excuse me, I probably have the biggest pecs in all of town. Uh, what are you saying to me? Clever, too. That rubber band really did the trick. It's an old trick, I learned. It stops the lid from slipping when you turn it. Here's the jar. There you go. Want to take a look at these guns? Thanks! Here, I'll give you this back too. I only needed it to get the lid off that jar. <laughs> so Claire, this wasn't the reason you wanted to talk to me, right? No, Mr. Hyde. Then please enlighten me. What's the problem? Well, it's... It's about Dad. I want you to talk to him for me. About what? It's been seven years since mom and dad split up. I wanted to know if there was a special person in his life. Oh my god, wait, why are you putting us in the middle of this conversation? This is not something I should be handling. I feel like I am not the right person for this. Oh no. You know, someone he could be happy with. Is this gonna, this is gonna push him with Mags, ain't it? Cause she's a widow. This is gonna push them together, ain't it? I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about any of this. So you have your suspicions then? Yeah, kind of. But I think that he should tell me if he does. I'm his daughter after all. Problem is, I can't bring myself to ask him directly. And you think it'll be any easier coming from me? Exactly! Claire, what are you expecting? No, not really, but... Oh, what can I do? You know us, we can't ignore a person in need. Of course we're gonna do it. Hey, hold your horses, I'll do it. Just gotta pick the right moment to ask. You're wonderful, Mr. Hyde. Thank you. <laughs> anytime, Claire, anytime. This is gonna be really difficult. Well, um, I think we've we've got a good enough look around this kitchen. I think I'm ready to ready to depart. Hopefully he won't catch us. Also, I was just thinking, like, us wasting time trying to open that jar made it so that there's like a higher chance of him catching us, because then we'll spend more time in there. Claire, I don't know why you you could have asked me to do that while I was outside of the kitchen, so I wouldn't get in trouble, but whatevs. It's my pager. I better head back to my room. Oh! What's this? Hi! Hey, Mr. Hyde, didn't realize you were still around, and you're also standing suspiciously close to the kitchen door, facing away from it as if you had just exited it, but whatever. Uh, I'm just leaving. Okay, catch you later. How were the toilets? Good fun time? Have a great time cleaning those dank toilets? <laughs> Alright, let's run back to our room. Could you teleport me there? I would appreciate that. Uh, nah, according to the music, we're still in here. <laughs> Can we talk to him about it now, actually? Probably not. Well, if it isn't Mr. Hyde who I spoke to five times in the last five minutes. If I remember correctly, you were keen on hearing about when this place was a hotel. Yeah, 
that's right. Can we have that conversation right now, though? Because our pager's going off. Somebody wants to talk to us. Well, I have a story. I have one story that's a bit of a mystery, if that would interest you. It would indeed. You already know about the fourth floor being left as it was back then, don't you? Yeah, I already knew that. Tell me something I don't know. But did you know about room 406? Apparently, this is an even bigger mystery. Did we go? I, okay, I already forgot. I think we went into 404 and 405. I don't think we went into 6, but I could be wrong. There's something about that room that sets it apart from the others up there. Only that room? Yes, just that one. According to the rumors, the room has never even been used. Never been used? Why not? That's the mystery. I've seen, I've heard lots of reasons from ghosts to leaky roofs, but none of them are very convincing. There were plenty of baseless rumors flying around, but we never heard the truth. This carried on right up to the point the place closed down. Something that sets the room apart. That's the story. Did you find it interesting? Yeah, it's just the kind of thing I've been hoping to hear. I'm glad to be of service. Huh. Oh, well, he probably won't say much, but can I help you? Nope, nothing. Something else to help you with? Nah, nah, I'm good. Wait, what? Sydney? Yes? Oh, I like how he shouted at Sydney. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna pop the question. Let's go. Is something wrong? I, uh, well, um, <clears throat> actually, it, it's nothing. <laughs> Talking to him about what Claire asked me earlier is gonna be harder than I thought. I'll hold fire for now and ask him later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure that we covered all our bases before we left. <laughs> oh my god! Kyle's too nice. Whenever he sees a person in need, he has to help them. Even if he, like, pretends that he doesn't want to, that it's too troublesome, and he's like, huh, I don't want to deal with that. I'm too cranky. I hate people. He always helps people. <laughs> huh? Somebody's coming out of Betty's room. Is it Rex or is it Betty? Uh, see you. Bye. It's Rex again. I know that voice. Oh, JK. Hello. Why would Marie be visiting Betty in her room? <sighs> hey, Marie. What's going on? When did you two get so close? Uh, I mean, saying that's kind of weird. I feel like just like, hey, what's up? What's going on? What's going on? Mr. Hyde. There's nothing going on, really. Excuse me. Yeah, I feel like pushing further would have been kind of rude, honestly. We're not close enough for me to be like, Hey, when'd you two get so close, Uh, Like, I would feel kind of annoyed. I don't know. Marie goes back into her own room. What did they get up to in Betty's room? Might be a good idea to find out. Um, well, Marie was like, Oh, nothing much, so she probably- It's so weird if we just go to Betty like, Hey! I saw Marie going out of your room. What were you two talking about, huh, ladies? Like, <laughs> That's so creepy! Why would we do that? Oh, hello, Mr. Hyde. What can I do for you? I happened to notice that Marie was here just now. This is so... <laughs> this is so weird! Yeah, she only just left, actually. What did she want? Well, Mr. Hyde, why are you so keen on finding out things that don't concern you? Because we're the protagonists of a mystery game and we kind of have to investigate things, I guess. <laughs> I'm worried about her, that's why. Worried? Why? Because when I've talked to her, she's given me more than enough- more than enough reason to be. So... Are you taking a fancy to her then? I guess she told you all about the money, right? Insurance money, right? What else could it be? Unless she fibbed and talked about something else. So she came to you to, to discuss money? I'm afraid I can't say. Uh, she swore me to secrecy. She told me explicitly not to breathe a word to anyone. And that includes you, Mr. Hyde. I see. Well, I guess that's it. And that's all I have to say. Goodbye. Betty returns to the confines of her room. Yup, not weird at all. Not weird of us to do that at all. Okay, let's go. Let's go and go on the phone. However, let's uh, talk to whoever's pinging us, which I'm assuming it's, you know, Rachel or Ed, can, can only be the two, in the next episode. All right, all right. So, I mean, Claire, <laughs> honey, why are you talking? Why are you asking Hyde of all people? Be like, it's so excuse me, I burped. Oh my God. So like, what you been up to in your love life lately? How's that going, huh? <laughs> Crazy, crazy, expecting height of all people. Anyways, I'll see you next time. This is Axis, over and out.